Let me uh, take you back a little bit in terms of, uh, because it's something which has always fascinated me is your transformation from what you were and what you've become. I think this is the, one of the greatest transformations I've seen in my 40 years in journalism. It's you and now recently it's Naveen Patnaik. That means you started off with somebody who was not even, I remember in one interview you were saying that when you first met Mrs. Gandhi, uh, Rajiv presented you to Mrs. Gandhi, that you, she spoke to you in French because you were not even comfortable in English at that time. Yes, because I had just gone uh, to Cambridge and I was, my English was absolutely nowhere. I was just beginning to learn English and yes, she spoke to me. So from that time to the point where you were become a political leader, you speak in Hindi, you give speeches in Hindi. What has been the biggest challenge in this journey for you? Well, there have been many, many, many challenges. Uh, Hindi, I actually, my mother-in-law used to try and make, you know, ask us to speak Hindi at home. But then I went to, there was a very small Hindi institute in uh, Green Park in Delhi. Right. And I attended that, uh, some courses there. But I must say, then I sort of neglected my, you know, our bad habit of, of speaking English more than Hindi, which I wish it was the other way around. But then I slowly, because of that initial course, where I learned, of course, reading, writing, reading, and right. grammar and all, uh, then uh, because of that course, it's that course that helped me when I had to speak publicly in Hindi. Um, it was very difficult at the beginning, but slowly, slowly, I, well, I, I learned. Public speaking is not my fault, as you all know. No, no, but it's, you've done very well. And I'm, Hindi, yeah. and in Hindi, is even more, for me, you know, stressful. And this reluctance of being a, but of I getting speak in, Hindi. Yeah, you speak very well. Yeah. In, uh, and, no, this reluctance of, of, of even discouraging Rajiv Gandhi to become a, the enter politics. Yes. Um, and uh, there's always been a resistance to it of you entering, uh, even when yeah. you wanted to enter politics. Yeah. Now you've overcome all that. I mean, you, you uh, enjoy it now, is it? There, there were reasons for me uh, not wanting my husband to join politics. Um, because you see, when you are in politics, then if you are a genuine person and you genuinely, genuinely care, then everything comes second. So with Rajiv, Rajivji in those days, he used to have a few flights and it was more yeah. of a leisure time and we had small children. We were a, a very happy family. And I felt that, you know, if he joined politics, then it would be the end of that. But uh, then, of course, when after my mother-in-law was assassinated, I, I really didn't want him to, to take that position. Uh, I suppose it was perhaps selfish, I don't know. But I also felt that they would have got him also, which in they would have, sorry? They, they would have killed him. Oh. Because that was soon after my mother-in-law's. And mm. there, was, there were lots of threats. And uh, I was right, it did happen. You mean you had a premonition? That yes, this, yes. Really? Not a what? premonition, but I knew what was going on around us and uh, kind of, you know. So I thought, I felt that, but at that point, it was inevitable. He could not have stepped back because already he was already in politics.